Who said getting the perfect black bars will take you up to 5 minutes? Definitely not me. Cause in this short tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get cinematic and perfect black bars in less than 2 minutes, I think. So follow me as we swoosh into this tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey there guys, my name is Farid from Lil Pop Studios and you're welcome to this channel. If you're new here, we talk all about filmmaking, VFX, Premiere Pro, After Effects and a lot more. Today was supposed to be an episode of VFX with Re, but last week I planned on creating the Green Goblins grenade but my machine and my phone wouldn't let me. So I'm thinking of reshooting it this week with a tripod because when I was shooting handheld, stabilization wasn't in my camera so tracking and all those things gave me a lot of headache which that's why I just decided to create a short tutorial which would be very helpful and educating. So without any further ado, let's just roll up into Premiere Pro and start the tutorial. First, I'm going to double click in here to import my footage which I already have in the desktop. So right after the importation, I'm going to right click on it and create a new sequence from clip. Then I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and then I'm going to add it onto my timeline here and I'm going to trim it to take the, um, I'm going to increase the length. Then I'm going into the effects tab here and then I'm going to search for the crop effect and I'm going to add it to it. So then I'm going into my effects controls from here and I'm going to increase the top. I'm going to increase it by 10% and increase the bottom to by 10%. And we are done. The simplest way to create black bars. So when we play back our footage, the before and after, we are going to have some feel of cinematography like this. I think we just created the perfect black bars in less than 50 seconds or 52 seconds I think. This is the shortest tutorial I've made ever. That's a record. So if this video helped you, I think you can just leave it a like and leave a comment in the comment section on which effect you'd like me to recreate. Don't forget to add the hashtag VFX with me. You can send me your um, things you've produced out of my tutorials on Instagram at Lil Pop Studios or you can add my page on Facebook at Lil Pop Studios again with less than two CDs or two CDs you can just support me on Patreon via the links down again and till the next episode get some creative ideas and keep it real peace out